Genesis is one of my favorite maps in Infinite Warfare, and after playing it a bunch during the Genesis 24-7 playlist for the holidays, I really got a good grip on this map, and I feel I've got enough information to share with you guys, a basic strategy guide for this map, and some general miscellaneous tips for it. So first things first is the pre-fire. So right when the game starts, everyone rushes to this middle corridor here, and there's always a massive firefight and tons of people die. And like I said, people love to just rush right into that hallway and take their chances with living or dying. And that's definitely not what you want to do. So if you spawn on this side here, like I talked about in my cover video, really try to use this wall and this sort of box here as that cover and use it properly to your advantage. And as you can see here, you can use that wall a little on your right, and you can crouch behind that box. I mean, the enemy's only going to barely see some of the right side of your body, maybe part of your arm, and they're going to see part of your head. So you're pretty much going to be impossible for them to hit unless they're using a very accurate gun and snap onto you very fast while you have a perfect line of sight of that corridor and can hit a lot of people. Now if you spawn on the other side there's a couple things you can do. The first one is you can rush up to this box here right on the corner of that corridor. This is a little harder to do because by the time you get up there enemies are already in that corridor so it's a little more risky but again you can use that cover properly sort of crouch down behind it you know make yourself a smaller hitbox. So that one works pretty well. There's a couple problems though. One, you have to get there fast enough. Like I said, a lot of people will be through the corridor by the time you get there. And if you do get there, you are very close to the enemies. So that hitbox of yours, no matter how small you make it, is already bigger just because you're closer. So there's a higher likelihood you can die. So the other way to approach this pre-fire is my preferred way, is to go up on the right side of these stairs here and go on this piece of metal and kind of use that metal along with the stairs as your sort of head glitch to sort of, again, make your hitbox smaller and work off that pre-fire. A lot of times when I do this one and the one on the other side, I'm able to get 4 or 5 kills just to start off the match. So aside from the pre-fires, the main strategy of this map is to get people trapped in this building here, and they're going to spawn at this main spawn point I'm looking at right now. So the basic rule is, once you get people stuck in this building, you want to keep them trapped in that building and keep them spawning in there, because there's only two ways out. There's the one I'm at here and one on the other side of the building. And the main rule is that if you walk into the building or you look into the building the wrong way, the enemies are going to spawn on the other side of the map. So you obviously don't want to do either of those things. So you want to stay back and just sort of pick enemies off as they run out of these doorways. Eventually they'll learn and start running out less and less, but in my experience, some people always try to rush out and get some kills on you. So when you have them trapped in this building, one way to do it is on these stairs here. Use this stair and railing as sort of... Again, I had glitch with a small hitbox to get enemies running out behind that wall. You can also use the other side of the staircase on the right. Again, use that railing to sort of pick people off as they come out. A third way to watch this exit is to get on this wall here. If you hop up on it, you can see over it and then crouch down to get behind that cover and pop back up to start shooting people. That's another really great way to watch that exit. And with these three ways to watch these exits, it's important that you get a few kills at one and then switch to the other because if you spend too much time at one of them, they're going to keep rushing you at that one and eventually kill you. So if you keep switching between them, you'll keep them off guard and that'll help you stay alive longer and get more kills. And then on the other side, kind of like the pre-fire, use those stairs to monitor both sides of that pillar of people walking out of there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you want to keep people trapped in this building. It's just as important to guard one exit as the other. And remember, don't go into the building and don't look into the building because then they'll spawn out. Now, if you happen to get stuck on the flip side of this and you're stuck in the building, there's a couple things you can do. First is, you can head glitch on this box right here, sort of crouch down, pop back up again, and you can pick off people who are coming around those pillars on the outside there, which can be pretty helpful for when you're stuck in there and you don't want to rush out. This will help kill people who are coming in and rushing. And another strategy when you're stuck in this building is, like I showed you on the stairs on that right side, people love to camp there to sort of shoot people who are coming out. So what you can do is, you can run around this right pillar, and boost jump onto this circular pillar and pop right out onto those stairs and get those people by surprise or walk around to the other side of those stairs and get those people too. Another way to get out of this is for the other exit. So if you manage to get out of this building somehow, instead of just rushing straight out and you know running into so much enemy fire, you can instead jump over this railing and wall run along this wall and then pop back up with this wall on your left, have some nice cover and sort of pick people off from behind. And if you want to make it even more complicated, you can go around that pillar too and end up in this nice grass area which would be a complete flank route and if you manage to pull it off nobody will see you and that will help break the spawn trap. And one final last ditch thing you can do to break the spawn trap is 
If enemies are rushing in, let them rush in, because like I said before, if they're in the building or they're even looking in the building for an extended period of time, your team's gonna spawn out. So if you can't manage to do any of those other things, just try to draw people in and let them come in. That way you have a higher chance of spawning out. Now, a couple other things here. In this red building, instead of running through it, like let's say you know that there's an enemy on the other side waiting for you to come through, or there's an enemy in the building waiting for you, instead of running straight through, what you can do is you can boost up and run around the outside of the glass here. So there is that glass and they can see you through the glass, but if they don't know about that spot, they might not be looking for it and you might be able to get around. That can be useful in a bunch of different situations. Another thing you can do is in this red building, if you're playing like infected or something, you can start boosting up on this middle glass pillar thing here, and then you can boost up to the top one and just keep running circles around the top. And if you're playing like infected or something, or you're just trying to hide from people, that's a nice way to do it. And then one final thing that I talked about in my cover video, you know, instead of running out through into these corridors, again, try to use some of those boxes, try to use those stairs to your advantage. Instead of running and standing at the top of them where your full body is exposed, try to stay at the bottom of them. It's kind of just slowly peek your head up and down, makes you a much smaller hitbox, and you're still able to hit the enemy fairly well. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Genesis map overview, this guide with some miscellaneous tips. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know in a comment down below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you think I could improve. Let me know whatever tips you found useful in this video and I should do more of. Anything like that. Any thoughts you have on this video, I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button for more Infinite Warfare tips and tricks, strategy videos, and videos to help you get better at Infinite Warfare. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.